Camping lighters must perform regardless of the weather. Ideally, they should be waterproof, windproof, and lightweight. It's even better if you can use them while wearing gloves, so you don't have to expose your hands to the cold in winter. While I always encourage using simple kit for your camping trips, I don't think disposable lighters are up to the job. They can easily blow out in the wind, and they will stop working if they get wet. If you're camping in rubbish weather, a hot meal will be even more critical. You don't want to get stuck eating cold beans from the tin. If you want to know about the price and other information, be sure to check my description. So without any further delay, let's jump into the video. Number 1. Zippo Outdoors Lighter I love Zippo lighters. I've been using a Zippo Outdoor Lighter for years, and it always gets a conversation started around the campfire. I received it as a gift, and I was thrilled. It weighs 19 grams and has a windproof design, which is fantastic in the great outdoors. I did notice that a couple of user reviews said the quality wasn't very good, but most people's experiences seem to be as positive as mine. I love the Starry Night design, and the lighter is easy to refill when it has run out of lighter fluid. The great thing about this lighter is that Zippo will fix it for you if it breaks. You just have to send it in for repairs following the instructions on their website and their team will get on it. To be honest, this brass lighter isn't the top choice for practicality because lighter and more reliable options are on the market. But if you want a beautiful piece of kit that reminds you of many happy adventures, this is the best choice. If you want something completely reliable that you can drop in puddles, you will want to choose one of the other lighters in this video. Number 2. Urjet 2-Pack Butane Lighters It's a good idea to go camping with two lighters in case one of them breaks or runs out of fuel. I've been stuck without a way to light my gas stove before, and nothing is more infuriating than a rumbling tummy when you have a rucksack full of food that you can't cook. This 2-Pack of Butane Lighters is very well priced. The 6-inch handle will keep your hand safely away from the gas, and it also allows you to more easily light the center of a campfire. You can easily adjust the power of the torch, and the button is safe and simple to use with or without gloves. This is larger than your classic lighter, but I can't imagine a situation in which it would be too big for your pack. Torch lighters are the best windproof lighters, so they are great for outdoor use. But this lighter isn't waterproof, so don't go too crazy with it. For the price, you can't expect something better than this. It's made of aluminum alloy and copper, and it's easy to refill. Two ounces is significantly heavier than some of the other choices on this list, so it may not be the best choice for ultralight through hiking. All in all, though, this is a great value piece of kit. Number 3. Extremis Weatherproof Outdoor Lighter The Extremis Weatherproof Lighter is another plasma lighter like the Explorer model that I already mentioned. It has some subtle differences, though, particularly when it comes to the arc. This lighter is more convenient for starting campfires directly because the high temperature arc is the highest point of the lighter. This will help you keep your hands out of the way. I still would never use a plasma lighter for directly lighting a gas stove. Maybe I'm just stuck in my ways, but I'd worry about burning my hands when I'd have to get the lighter so close to the gas. You can create a makeshift match from a twig in seconds, so there's no need to tempt fate. The Extremis Outdoor Lighter is rainproof and windproof. It fully charges in around two hours, and you should have enough battery for a week's use. The rubber seal and waterproof case will keep your lighter safe in most conditions, and an emergency whistle is threaded into the paracord. You also have a few extra tools, like wrenches. But if you were to get lost in the woods, I doubt a screwdriver will be what saves you. This robust piece of kit weighs around 150 grams users rated highly, but I personally detach the survival tools and leave them at home. Better to bring a survival kit that really has what you need. Number 4. RONX 2-Pack Jet Flame Lighter I researched a lot of similar lighters before deciding to recommend the RONX Jet Flame model. These seem to be more powerful and reliable than their competitors, and they are also reasonably priced. You can tap the ignition button lightly to open the lid, then press down harder to start the jet flame. The lighter is surprisingly powerful, and you can light your gas stove or campfire from several inches away. 
The flame is adjustable, so you don't have to waste fuel, and there are cooling air holes to stop it from overheating. The leak-proof design will prevent your kit from getting smelly, and it's a good choice for windy weather. The fuel canister is visible, so you will know when you're running low on butane and need a refill. Some people seem to struggle to get the lighter fully lit. Number 5. Texas Bushcraft Fire Starter A flint lighter is a terrific option for starting campfires. You don't have to worry about it running out of fuel or battery power, and it is pretty indestructible. It doesn't matter if you get it wet or drop it off a cliff, your ferro rod will still be up for starting a fire. I wouldn't use this for starting a gas stove, but I would bring it in my pack in case of emergencies. You might want to bring a more conventional fire starter too, but it's great to have such a reliable lighter in case you get into a tight spot. The lighter doesn't take up much space and it looks fantastic. If you cut into the attached power cord, you'll find three threads for emergency use. One of them is a fire starter, one of them is a fishing line, and one is for sewing. While you'll probably never use these, I think it's pretty cool that they are braided into the design. The so-called multi-tool attachment doesn't do much more than open bottles, but it's still pretty helpful to have on hand after a hike. That's all from my end. I make helpful videos daily, so do subscribe to my channel. If you need more information or if you want to know product price, do check out my description. For any kind of problem, please comment below. Stay updated with our cool products as it will make your life much easier.